Hello there! Do you want to build your own website builder or Wix clone? Perhaps you have a unique idea for a website builder platform for e-commerce, landing pages, websites, mobile apps, or even SaaS services. Stay with me, because I'll give a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that quickly and save your money. My name is Denis Babich and I work as the director of a software development firm. In this video, I will show you how to test your idea, outperform your competitors, hire the greatest team and save money along the way. All this knowledge stems from my agency expertise, successful businesses and top-tier practices blended into one ultimate system. Let's get started. Ok, here is why making a website or mobile app builder is a must. People are always struggling with high software development fees and the complexity of the process. And if you can locate the suitable niche, such as mobile app builder for scooter rental services, you'll set up your business for success. If you're considering creating a website builder, you'll likely benefit from the assistance and support provided by AI and ChatGPT. We can evaluate existing services pinpoint what they do right and also what they might be missing. Examples of successful operations include Hookus, Hostinger, Durable and TenWeb, among others. These platforms effectively utilize the power of ChatGPT alongside simple scripts, providing their customers with the capability to create websites in just a few clicks. These sites usually consist of landing pages or simple blocks with present designs. To get started, all you need to do is set up WordPress on your server and create scripts with ChatGPT. The next is to automate the deployment of new WordPress sites and integrate this with hosting providers and design services. But remember, this is merely the starting point. While this proof of concept is promising, keep in mind that anyone with the ability to browse YouTube and use the WordPress theme Elementor could potentially outplay your startup. So, let's dig deeper and establish what you really need to successfully launch a business. Let's start by identifying the core components of your website builder software. Depending on your business goals, it might include the web app for users, mobile app for customers, and the web super admin zone. Ok, it all starts with a web app that will allow your users create their own businesses and have functions like authentication, payments, website builder functionality, settings, deployment third-party integrations, and so on. The mobile apps will have the functionality for your users' customers and have functions such as logging, map, calendar, scheduling, payment, feedback, and so on. The web-based admin zone will provide functionality such as user management, verifications, payment management, analytics, security, and more. OK, one of the most important components of designing your software product is focusing on establishing a rock-solid MVP minimum viable product. Look, we're talking about your startup here. And in the early stages, the best method for you is to produce an MVP. It will assist you in rapidly developing your software by implementing basic features and your unique killer feature. That's all you really need at this point. This strategy will allow you to move quickly, save a substantial amount of time and resources, and properly test your market. Remember that a simple MVP that has already been established and has users can easily get money from angel investors and your startup valuation cost can easily start from $1 million. That's why creating an MVP is so important. Now let's talk about pricing. When it comes to identifying the price for your software, there are several things you have to keep in mind, such as quality assurance, bug fixing, project management, maintenance, and risks. Estimating the cost of developing unique features at this stage can be quite challenging. But don't worry, I'm here to provide you with the pricing for the basic MVP functionality. Here's a pro tip for you. If an investor contract requires an in-house development team, you'll need to allocate a budget based on US or EU rates. However, you always have the option to outsource your software development expenditures to Ukraine, which can be a significant game-changer when you're seeking value for money. 
Ukraine is an absolute hidden gem in the software development world. Many successful startups such as GitLab, Grammarly and Jubal have already recognized the huge value of hiring Ukrainian developers to build a top-notch software. Ukrainian developers have excellent English skills, extensive experience in outsourcing development, strong math background. They have innovative thinking which helps them always think outside of the box. On top of that, they are hard workers. Ok, so the most pressing question you might have right now is probably about which features to include in your MVP and how to prioritize them properly. And the answer is super simple. Follow the methodology that I'm about to share with you. This comprehensive methodology that I've developed after 10 years of experience will assist you in identifying essential features, make the pricing accurately, finding the best execution team, outplaying competitors, achieving product market fit and saving a significant amount of resources. Moreover, it will shed light on why the app price can range from 90 grand to 250 grand. Buckle up, let's dive in. So the first step is the business plan. And this is where the modified link canvas comes into play. It's like a business plan on a napkin that uncovers all hidden aspects that you need to focus on. This business plan will take you something about an hour to prepare. Next, the order of these boxes that you see on the screen and the process flow is crucial. It's been created after experiencing with 1000 plus Lean Canvas workshops with my clients. So, it starts with understanding your user groups and their main pain points. What are their struggles? What issues can your service address and make their lives easier? Next, explore your competitors and the solutions they offer. Identify their advantages, disadvantages and their strategies that you can adopt. Your goal is to find the space where you can outshine your competitors by creating a unique solution for your specific niche without reinventing the wheel. Now, let's talk about your unique and fair advantage. This is the powerful factor that sets you apart from your rivals. It could be your chip developers, marketing insights, AI utilization and so on. Ok, once you've identified your unique edge, it's time to target your early adopters. These individuals will be the pioneers who will test your service and give you the most valuable feedback at the early stage. Discover where they spend their time online and create a cool marketing hook to engage them. Give them something truly unique and powerful. Broadcast your unique offer via social media, influencers or just regular Google and Facebook ads. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Lean Canvas and get insights from 1000 plus workshops, I've created the full video about that link in the video description. Remember, don't just think about the present, plan for the future and envision global growth and international expansion of your platform. Having a clear vision for your app's future in 5 or 10 years is crucial for attracting investors and achieving unicorn status. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm always excited to help you out and I'll personally review each comment. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated and gain more business insights. Thanks. One of the most crucial steps in creating your startup is achieving a product market fit. Believe me, it's a game changer. So how can you offer innovative and disruptive solutions that will address the pains and gains of your target audience? Well, completing your value proposition table is the key to achieving that. Picture this. You have an exciting idea for your own website or mobile apps builder. Before starting the software development phase, it's important to identify pains and gains of your users. It could be something like high price, limited functions, complex and time-consuming interface and even limited ownership control. Once you have identified all these issues, it's the perfect time to leverage your platform to tackle them. You can provide solutions such as affordable price where users will pay as they go for each feature separately. Give them access to the most common features and integrations. Create tons of user-friendly tutorials with most popular cases and give them an opportunity to upload the website on their own server purchasing your license. Look, when you prioritize the platform value for your audience on front and keep that at the core of everything you do, 
you're setting up your business for success. Remember, small companies and startups can easily outperform industry leaders by being agile, flexible, and focusing on unique problems and local niches. You don't have to compete with everyone in the market. Instead, concentrate on a specific audience and provide them with the best possible value. And always keep in mind that it's crucial to fall in love with your customer problems and not just your solutions. All right, if your goal is to create an app that can outperform your competitors and satisfy your clients, then it's crucial to do your homework and conduct proper competitor research. Look at the industry giants for inspiration. They've mastered the game, and you can learn from them by studying their user flows and proven methodologies. Remember, there is no need to reinvent the wheel completely. However, don't limit your research only to the big players. Expand your scope and explore startups in smaller niches and different countries. You never know what you might discover. There could be a hidden gem that gives you a competitive edge in the market. Trust me, this exploration could be the most beneficial factor in your startup success. On top of that, you can learn which startup ideas was successful and which one fails. If you need assistance or support, feel free to reach out to me through any of the contact details listed in the description below. I'm here to help you and I'd be delighted to share my niche knowledge that could significantly impact your startup success. Let's outperform competitors together. Okay, once you thoroughly researched your competitors, identified all your customers' problems and generated a range of solutions, it's time to properly prioritize your software features. You'll need to decide what features you must, should, could and won't develop. This methodology effectively creates a framework of key features requiring for swift development and proper prioritization. On top of that, it helps you to pivot, if needed, with limited resources. Also, it helps you to identify your prime path and crystallize your project's fundamental goals. When it comes to creating an MVP for your app, it's important to keep your focus on what matters most to your users. And that's where a story map comes into play. With a well-crafted story map, you can break down the user requirements and map out the essential features that need to be developed and launched quickly. But hold on, there is more. To ensure maximum user engagement and satisfaction, it's important to develop separate story maps for each user type. Think of it as providing each user group with their own treasure map, guiding them directly to the features that are most important to them. By doing this, you can identify the specific need of each group and prioritize the features accordingly. This way, your MVP will meet their crucial needs and provide the best possible value at this stage. Thus, the real power of a story map lies in its capacity to help you save funds on one side while simultaneously enabling you to concentrate on providing the most value to your audience at the right stage on the other side. Marketing may sound like a challenge, but in reality, when you understand your customer's problems and can create a powerful answer, then it becomes a much simpler task. So, the first step is to create unique and compelling offers that motivate your users to try your platform at least once. Give them a powerful hook with some free services for one month. Once your killer offers are ready, it's time to broadcast them. Use tools like SEO, Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube, and review and rating platforms. Your goal is to be presented everywhere and provide useful value for your audience through articles, video, as much as possible with maximum attention to your unique offer. Look what HubSpot is doing and repeat their educational process about business and marketing. It might take some time to do this strategy and prepare all these things, but hey, look, at the end of the day, you will have a truly powerful foundation that you would be able to use and get more and more new clients, leaving your rivals behind. Are you interested in delving deeper into the world of startups and businesses? Do you want to connect with business-minded founders and entrepreneurs where I share tons of insights and host live chats? If so, 
click the link in the video description and join me on my Telegram channel right now. All right, let's talk about wireframing. Wireframes are the blueprint of your app's business logic, where you create every possible user cases and scenarios. It helps you uncover all the hidden or unexpected user flows. For example, let's say you are in the process of creating your website or mobile app builder. You've covered the basic functions like user authentication, payments, and creator interface. But what about situations where the user wants to make changes inside the code for SEO needs? Have you incorporated a feature to manage such scenarios? These are the types of issues where a wireframe will help you identify potential gaps. Look, once again, the wireframe serves as the foundation for your app's functionality and user experience, and it's crucial to make this foundation rock solid. Next, let's delve into the UI design of your app. There are two key aspects to consider. Firstly, the UI design should cater to users of all age groups, so the UI should be modern, but not too fancy. Secondly, and most crucially, your UI builder design should facilitate users in solving their problems with the fewest clicks possible. Do you remember the problem of complexity of these systems that I highlighted at the beginning? Thus, your job here is to incorporate well-known icons, design intuitive elements, locations, and a simple color scheme that will help your users swiftly and effectively navigating your app. Forget about branding, fancy logos, and other visual design nonsense. At the early stage, this won't bring value neither to you nor to your customers. Center your design around your users' problems, minimizing clicks, accelerating user goals pass, and simple but modern design aesthetics. Here's a helpful pro tip for you. To generate really cool UI design style and ideas, explore portfolios on websites like Behance or Dribbble. Search for CRM apps and incorporate design elements that catch your attention. And remember what Picasso said, good artist copy, great artist steal. If you found value in these tips, Please show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. Your support will boost this video visibility in the YouTube algorithm. And you don't miss any valuable business videos from me. Thank you. Now, let's delve into the tech stack. This is one of the most crucial aspects when creating a website builder. Therefore, choosing the right tech stack is vital to avoid challenges such as slow user interfaces, non-scalable and non-maintainable cloud infrastructure, high costs, payment and subscription issues, and the risk of your app going offline during traffic spikes. If you're planning to create a website builder software, it's essential to select the appropriate tech stack that enables rapid development of your minimum viable product. Flutter or React Native are excellent choices for swift mobile app development. For backend development, Python, Django, Node.js, and Amazon Web Services are perfect options. React, Vue.js, and Angular are ideal for crafting web applications with easy. Additionally, leveraging third-party services like Stripe and Braintree for payments processing, Twilio for SMS, and SendGrid for emails can expedite your development timeline. Remember, it's crucial to choose the appropriate tech stack for each stage of your software development journey. Tools and services like MernStack, GraphQL, Microservices, Docker, Kubernetes, MongoDB, or PostgreSQL are also important, but your goal is to start with a minimum viable product and make notes regarding your future feature set when you are designing your app architecture. Different tools you have to use at the different project stage. Some tools you can use both at the same time depending on your business goals. Anyway, the right tech stack is like receiving a correct diagnosis after blood test. All right, let's discuss the Agile process, one of the most powerful methodologies out there that can significantly speed up your development process. However, did you know that in some situations it can actually slow down your project by up to 30%? Picture this. You have a team of five developers who understand their roles, communicate effectively, and have made significant progress in coding the products they could use simple tools like Trello, Asana, Google Docs, and QuickZoom meetings. However, as your team expands to 15 or more people, you may face some challenges, such as losing your key developers, 
complex and time-consuming onboarding processes, reduced team productivity, communication issues, missed deadlines, and a decline in code quality and architecture. To avoid these problems, it's important to hire a tech lead to oversee the team and code architecture, find project manager with tech background, implement Scrum, Sprints, Backlog and retrospective processes, conduct daily stand-ups to keep everyone updated on pending tasks, utilize advanced tools like Jira to manage tasks and track your team velocity. Choosing the right tools at the appropriate stage can accelerate your progress towards achieving your minimum viable product. However, keep in mind that even the best tools can lead to failure without the necessary knowledge or expertise. Another pro tip for you. Agile methodology can be a valuable asset not only in your software development journey, but also in your daily tasks, business and marketing. It's really powerful tool. Collecting user analytics is a crucial practice in the tech industry, allowing you to uncover essential metrics like unique visitors, user behavior, and session frequency. Using powerful tools such as Google Analytics, Session Stack, Firebase, and Mixpanel will enable you to gather valuable data. By consistently tracking your app's performance and analyzing your user's feedback, you can pinpoint areas that require improvements to ensure your users' satisfaction. All right, if you're thinking of creating a mobile app or a web app, but you're not quite sure where to start and you need some advice on how to start and outplay your competitors, feel free to shoot me a message via Calendly and we can have a 30-minute call. Trust me, I'll be more than happy to share some insider knowledge and expertise with you that could be a real game-changer for your startup. So, what you're waiting for? Let's make it happen. See ya!